These days, EVs are everywhere. Governments are pushing to electrify, manufacturers are pushing the technology, and even consumers seem to be rooting for the technology to take over. Now whether you like an EV or not, that's not what this video is about. Both the luxury EV and the budget EV has their place, and I have no problem with it. I have to state however that I don't believe that the future is electric, but for your average everyday car, EVs are good. But the topic of discussion in this video is classic cars and converting a classic to be electric. It is a huge market and there are many companies doing just this, but is it a good idea? You see, EVs typically require less maintenance than internal combustion powered vehicles. Combine that with significantly lower cost per kilometer traveled and you'll have a car that is cheaper to run on a day to day basis. Which means you should save money if you convert your old car to be an EV. But will you really save money? I mean changing the heart of a car is not so easy. And you are literally going from an internal combustion engine to an electric motor. So everything changes. While an old car is easy to convert to run on electric systems, they have fewer integrated electronics than modern vehicles and in some cases it can be as simple as removing the combustion engine and gearbox and just fitting a suitable electric motor and batteries. So I'll ask the question again, is it a good idea? Well, in my opinion, no, and here is why. Firstly, even though it's a relatively simple job, it's a really expensive one. Converting a classic car to run on batteries instead of gasoline will set you back around $60,000. I mean, the conversion kit alone without batteries and a motor costs around $10,000 by itself. So converting a classic is quite expensive. And for what? Why do you want to convert your classic to be an EV? If your answer is to be more eco-friendly, in order for an EV to be greener than an internal combustion engine vehicle, it needs to be driven more than 20,000 miles. You see, producing batteries is pretty bad for the environment, so a brand new EV has already done a lot of harm to the planet. But as you drive it, it's better, so over time an EV becomes greener. Here's the thing, nobody drives their classic cars a lot, because if you drive it, the value goes down. Here is an example. A low mileage example of a 1970s 911 is worth more than a car that's been driven a whole lot. So if you convert your classic, you'll have to drive it to make it greener and in turn you'll lower the value of your car. Next thing, classic cars are classics for a reason. It's a portal to the past, a peek into what was. Let's use the same classic 911 as an example again. The 1970s 911 S 2.2 was powered by a 180 horsepower flat 6. This specific version featured a reprofiled camshaft, larger valves, better porting, higher compression and larger jets for the Weber carburetors. The old flat 6 redlined at 7300 rpm and as the revs raised you could listen to this old girl sing. One interesting thing with this old Porsche was the fact that Porsche didn't fit it with a choke, which meant that on cold mornings starting her was quite a challenge. But it gives the car character. The engine in a classic is just as classic as the shell on the outside, and in some cases the engine is more important than the body itself. So in my opinion, with a classic vehicle you are destroying it when you are converting it. If you want an EV, buy an EV. If you want a classic car, buy a classic car and enjoy it for all the weird quirks they have. All of that said, there are some classic EVs I don't mind. Cars like the RBW EV. This looks like an old MGB Roadster, but it isn't. This isn't a conversion or a restoration. This is a completely new car. It just looks like an MGB. So it's a new car, it just looks like an old car. Which is fine, I see no problem with buying one of these. You are most definitely overpaying, they are quite expensive for what you get, but it is a new car, you aren't taking an old piece of history and changing it into something else, something completely different. But let me know what you think down below, am I wrong? If you think so, let me know why you think I'm wrong, and if you agree with me, leave a comment too. Oh, and if you guys own a classic, let me know too. I would love to see some of your cars. You can send them to me on my Instagram, or you can just let me know down below which car you drive. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you like anything car related, this is the place to be. I make tons of videos on anything car related. So if you like cars, 
you like my channel. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I. Thank you.